Right, the next question we'll be looking at is question 1-3. A stone is proje uh, projected vertically upwards from the top of a building at speed v meters per second. The position time graph below represents the motion of the stone. Ignore the effects of air resistance. And in this case, we don't have to take into account air resistance. And we see that we have position here on the y-axis and time on the x-axis just a standard position time graph but in this case it only shows us the vertical position of the object in this case I think the object is a stone so then they ask uh, they ask us which one of the combinations below regarding the magnitudes of the stones velocity and acceleration at time t1 is correct so they are only interested at time t1 what the speed in this case uh, or sorry the velocity and acceleration the magnitudes of, of those two uh, are so if we look at the um, options here we've got a b c and d and we can see that if we look at the position time graph remember that on a position time graph the slope at a point will give me the velocity of, uh, of the object. So wherever the slope of this curve, or in this case this parabola, is zero, then I will know that the velocity of the object will be zero. And we can see that uh, we start off with a positive slope over here, and as we move along the slope decreases until we reach point T1, where the slope is zero. So that means that the velocity of the object will be zero over here at point T1. In the case of the acceleration, we know that um, the acceleration of the object is g, or the acceleration of gravity, and in our case we assume that it's 9.8 meters per second squared. That is the amount of acceleration that the stone will experience only under the force of gravity and in this case that is the only force that will be acting on the stone. So if we look at the options over here again we can see uh, right out of the bat that option C and option D will be incorrect because we know that the velocity at T1 is zero so it can be either one uh, of A or B the correct answer and if we look at the magnitude of the acceleration over here, we see that uh, for option B, they say the acceleration is zero, and we know that that is also incorrect. So we know that the correct option in this case is A.